All right, here with us we have Colette Patrizzi. Yes. We are here with the famous Hannah Patrizzi. Not really famous, but okay. Yes. And the director. Whoopsie, what did I do? I um, don't know. And but for the record, she wanted me to do this. I was just going to interview everybody else, but she said she wanted to interview me. So, where we have Simon Patrizzi with us right now. That is right. <laughs> <laughs> so, here we are now with Jude Patrizzi, our next interviewee. I said interviewee, I felt like I was interviewing you for a job or something. Yep. Um, all right, so. Well, my three greatest strengths are. With Regina Patrizzi, how are you? Doing all right. Okay, Alive, good. you know. <laughs> right, Do I just look at you and smile the whole time? Whatever you want. All right, hello. Stop. <laughs> First question, which was, this was posted by somebody online. What has been your favorite role to play so far? Uh... Okay, I bet a lot of people are going to see this coming, but it's definitely St. Rose, I'm not going to lie, no. It was fun. What has your been your favorite role to play in our spectacular movie so far? <laughs> okay, you don't have to interject. <laughs> Just ask the questions without interjecting your own adjectives. I like being like the dynamic, you know, mother of St. Rose of Lima. <laughs> but I, I guess my favorite might be St. Elizabeth, just because I got to be like the saint in the film? Well, that's kind of a hard decision considering I've played two roles or maybe three, <laughs> if we include that. But um, the only one that I really did with, with that was extensive was the Saint John Vianney, and that was definitely my favorite role to play because everybody loves being a star. <laughs> uh, the ones we've made? Yeah, not I the like... ones we haven't made. <laughs> uh, probably I like the captain. It's always fun to be the bad guy. You get to get up there, yell, you know, be mean. And uh, just the, the force you can you can bring to the character is a little more different because we played I know, the doctor, you have to be you know quieter, calmer character. Right. And, it, and it's so it's, it's a little easier to be mad because everybody can you can tell mad. So, I uh, my last role as the Duchess being almost an enemy kind of character at the beginning, if that makes sense. And she was also more of a leading role than the others, so I probably had the most fun with that one. This one was from someone else online. Yeah. Who are your favorite saints? I like Saint Bernadette and I like Saint Philomena. They're both girl saints. Any other reason? And they like their stories and they were brave. Oh boy, that's hard. There's a lot of favorite ones. Mm -hmm. um, I think my favorites are probably Saint Therese. I like her little way. Oh, that's true. It makes it like, you know, it makes it easy to follow and it, does, it makes it feel not like impossible. I like Saint Bernadette a lot. Um, I feel like there's a lot more that I'm just not thinking about right now. Oh, St. Rita. I really like St. Rita. St. Lawrence I actually like. I just, I guess I like his, like, I don't know, his, like, his heroic sense of humor, so to speak, like, in his martyrdom. Um, but, I mean, yeah, I just, I like a lot. I could probably go on for a long time, so we'll just stop there. That's a good question. Uh, I really like... Saint Francis de Sales because his I've read his introduction to the devout life and it's you know much more like on a personal level it just seems more like intimate while the saints and the other writings are definitely very very good and have their place sometimes you can just see the practical application of Saint Francis de Sales and stuff like that. Oh um, I like Saint Augustine know that one I mean I was Saint Jude my patron saying that one's a little pretty easy um, I like Saint Ambrose Saint Catherine of Siena um, what was the other thing? Oh, St. Saint, Saint Dominic. Oh, I actually have quite a lot. St. Germain Cousin, I think that's how it said, the last name. I uh, like St. Philomena and St. Therese. Those are probably my biggest ones. Um, and this someone else says, I would like to know how it started. So like how we started with St. Judicius films. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember? Okay, we'll have to have someone else answer that one. Okay, so how did it all start? Uh, this might be a bit of a long answer. <laughs> I'll try to make it not too long. So it started with, well, I've just, since I was in my first play, I just found I really liked acting. So that's how that started. And then, how did the filming start? Well, we were doing some plays at church, and before, even before we did plays at church, we did, um, like just some short silly videos at home and we just had fun with the playing around with it, doing the editing and you know making it into like a video or a movie so to speak and um, so I've always liked acting and then doing the videos and then 
I mean, we're going to do a play at church, and then a family um, was going to move away, so we kind of lost actors, and it wasn't going to work out at church anymore. So we decided that we wanted to do something to filming at home anyway, so we thought, why don't we just take that script and adapt it and make it to a movie? And that's how Little Rose came along. And then that was really fun, and it seemed like people enjoyed it, so then we were like, well, let's keep going. And so it just kind of started, and it's really exciting, though, because I've always really wanted to do you know, film, movie type things and acting, so it's, it's fun to be able to bring it to life, even if it's just in a small way in our own films. Um, it was mostly just us just making or playing around making films and stuff like that. We, what I recall is that we always liked playing with cameras just a few years ago. Um, and then with St. Genesius films, well, my sister Hannah, who's sitting on the other side of the camera, just liked Hello. doing, uh, <laughs> I uh, wanted to do something a little bit more in depth. Okay, so we used to do some plays, but then we, it was hard because you know, we only had prime to practice like every other week. So we said we can just do it ourselves at home. It was, it was sort of an offshoot of our desire to do the plays, you know, the, the Saints plays and things like that. I think it started with uh, our oldest brother just doing little movies and films. Like it wasn't necessarily with us, it was just more like with the boys and a friend and stuff. And then we decided we wanted to remake one of the ones that they had made. Uh, a couple years after we stopped doing that one, which it was not it was not a successful attempt to finish it. Is what I mean to say. And after a couple years after we decided we were going to do a story, we were trying to make one up. And then we decided to do um, Saint Rose of Lima. And then just every year after that, we wanted to get a movie done in the summer. Um, another person posted this question. What is your confirmation name? So, my confirmation name will be, in the future, Philomena, but I haven't been confirmed yet. I'm going to be confirmed in May. So my confirmation name is Therese, for Saint Therese, the child Jesus, or sometimes people call her Saint Teresa, um, if Therese is the French. Yeah, just like I said, I liked her little way, and so she's my confirmation patroness. Um, my confirmation name is Nicholas. Okay, for a second there, I was like, does he remember? <laughs> I know it. You just got, you can't just say Nicholas next. Yeah. yeah. My confirmation name is Nicholas. And I didn't bring him up as a favorite saint, but I do like Saint Nicholas. Especially the story of him punching Arius at the <laughs> council. I don't really remember what was going through my head when I chose him. Oh, mine is Lydia. I don't know if there's anything to say about that. Okay. Alright, so this is another person online asked, which saint stories do you want to do next? Um, I want to do Saint Bernadette, but a lot of people say there's too many movies about that already, but I don't care. We should do Saint Tarsisius, uh, Saint Genesius. I'm not gonna just reveal quite yet what our, our next one uh, in the works our is. Our next plan. But besides that, I think it'd be really fun to do some saints that are less lesser known. Saint Joan of Arc would be really fun just because you know the battles and the. <laughs> the armor and, and everything, but I think it would just be really hard to put together because yeah. you don't want to look really cheesy. Um, I'm just used to taking orders, so I just do what I'm told, so <laughs> I have no opinion. But if like I if you, think about if, it, if, yeah, 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 like, yeah. What yeah. would you want to do next? <clears throat> yeah, uh, do you want to do next? It would be kind of fun to do a saint that actually doesn't have like like a dramatic story, like a modern necessarily, but more just like a regular saint. I guess it wouldn't be as exciting and be a little more difficult to do, but you know, um, some of the stories of uh, St. Alphonsus Liguori and things like that might be kind of interesting, sort of a different style. Oh, that's a, I haven't really thought about that. Uh, I haven't, I've not actually thought about that at all. I really kind of want, we've kind of wanted to do stuff with more with martyrs, but that's kind of harder to work out, to like show it, the martyrdom and everything. I've, my dream has been to do a general anything that has horses in it and stuff. I don't really have a specific saints that I want to do though. Another person asked, do you feel closer to a saint after portraying them, him, her, whoever you are? Yeah, I guess I do. Um, yeah, I would say so. Um, like now if I see, I think with St. Elizabeth of Hungary, it's like, oh, there she is, it's like my saint. Yeah. So you kind, of, you kind of do, you feel like you kind of have more of a special bond and I guess you can relate more when you actually like stepped into the character. I would say yes. I mean, if you you could sort of when you're acting, they always try to you know get sort of inside the mind of that person. I haven't really portrayed a saint. I never the saint. I don't know if I should read into that or not. 
much, I guess. I feel like I would, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't portrayed any saints, but we did a play of Saint Germain. And after reading a book about her, we based that off, that, that the play was based off of and doing it, actually. That is why she became my favorite saint, so probably, yeah. <clears throat> okay, someone else asked, what are your favorite stories of the Old Testament? So it was like Jahal and the male Jahal, you know, like the one who nailed the head of the evil general. And um, the lady who hid the spies in her house when they were coming for Jericho. Mm -hmm. I like... Yeah, Moses. That's uh, interesting. I think one of my favorites probably is Judith, just because, I don't know, she was just such a heroic woman, you know, standing up and cutting off his head. <laughs> I mean, it's a little gruesome, right? But, yeah. But it just shows you how strong, like, a God-fearing woman can be, you know, how she was, you know, pious and she prayed and then she did her part. I think she's a really inspiring role model. I guess I'd like... Um, was that Jacob fighting the angel? It just always struck me as interesting that he uh, fought with an angel, was able to overcome it in a physical manner. I know uh, the story of Samuel being called by God and thinking it was the high priest. I don't know. I just found that story interesting. He said, "Keep, keep coming, beating the high priest." Said, "No way, it's God." He sit there and answer, "Lord, I am here." That's an interesting one. Um, probably something from uh, King David. Obviously, obviously, there's a story of David and Goliath, which is just, everybody knows that one. But there are, uh, another story of Absalom, when he, rather than fight his son, he fled Jerusalem. Oh, that's actually a hard one. I probably don't know the Old Testament as well as I should. I like the story of Ruth is one of my favorite ones. Um, someone asked, how long do you have to practice your lines before you get them perfect? Okay, I don't actually really do that. I kind of like read it a lot. And then I just kind of start saying it, and then I just kind of do it on the spot, and then kind of it changes. Well, I'm not sure if I would say I get them perfect. So I'm just like, okay, cut, we messed that up. <laughs> Most likely I just uh, practice them a couple days or however long from we get the script to start filming. Usually, of course, if you're going to start with a specific scene, study those first. But the nice thing about filming is you don't have to have like all of your lines memorized perfectly like in a play. You can just kind of do it kind of more scene by scene if you have to. Well, everybody's gonna say this, but I don't get my lines perfect, and that's that is true. true. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times, uh, we're doing this like right after I've done school, so I have no desire to study, and so a lot of times I'll just get the general just and fly with it. <laughs> and it's <laughs> and so it doesn't work. It doesn't. It doesn't work most of the time. I I do admit that I probably cause most of the line mess ups, but you know that's the beauty just of film. Just watch the bloopers of old films, and you'll see him. <laughs> but I mean that's what you know keeps life interesting. You don't have to just yeah, sit there by and yourself. And frustrating at times. No, that, no, it keeps it interesting. I, I generally do is I read them a bunch of times, reading just off the script, and I try to you know immediately read it to myself. You know, sort of just repeat it without looking, and sort of do that a bunch of times. That's my main process. I just kind of look at them and study them for a little while. I have probably a couple of weeks of just going over them. And I'm not going to say that I ever have them perfect. How long does it take to write the scripts and how long does it take to actually tape the film? Okay, so I don't know how long it takes to write the scripts because Hattie usually pops them up one day, so yeah. And um, take the film. It depends on kind of like what we do. Like we were filming St. John of Vianney. We like did most of it in summer, and then we like stopped for like three months and did nothing. And then when it was cold again, we were like, you know what? We should finish that movie. How did we stop for three Snow months? Flowers. We didn't stop for three months. Yes, we did. It was cold by the time it was we started like it again. Fall. It wasn't three months though. Okay, so a month. Maybe that's at better. least. But it usually takes like a full summer to do it, and then. It takes a longer time to do the editing and the sorting out. And... For writing the scripts, it's a good question because I tend to do it over time, like if I have spare time, so it's, I don't really keep track of, you know, like hours per se, but oftentimes I'll use like a few books as my basis. If I work like just really hard on it, probably a few days, but it probably um, goes to more like a few weeks just because I'm not working on it like every day, all day. So it just kind of happens over time. The time it takes to film, Oh, it takes a lot longer than you originally think. Usually it takes, I would say, at least six times the amount of time that you end up putting in the film to just, you know, make just the basic filming, like not the preparation and the getting there, but when you actually have the camera rolling, you get about six times as much footage as you need, if not more. So it takes a long time.
But we generally film for, I don't know, we, we'll film for a few days, we'll take a break, film for a few other days. Filming itself, it's also because we can't be doing it like all the time to get some every day. So that does take a couple of months to do through the summer. All right, so here's a question that I just thought would be interesting to ask is what's your least favorite thing that happens when you're when we're filming like the most boring or annoying part to you um the heat it's always hot in those costumes because you film in the summer when school's out and thinking what you think is a good idea but other people don't think it is and not being able to get it in there like or having like a shot you really liked having something happen so it didn't work you can't get it in and that really makes me yeah like, i'm like ah, oh, no it's so perfect maybe it's just like waiting around for things to happen like if people aren't coming right away or you're trying to set something up and it's not working, sometimes it's just like, can we just do this already? Uh, I said memorizing the lines because <laughs> like I was saying, I have, don't really particularly like just brute memorization. I, I feel like the end of any shoot and towards the end you're getting a little tired and everybody else is getting a little tired and everybody else is getting a little bit grumpy and your, everybody's fuses are just a little bit shorter. That's really not fun because you're just like, we just need to get this over with. I'm getting hot, it's almost lunchtime, I wanna go eat, or I need to do my schoolwork or whatever. I have fun doing all of this, but probably when you have to wait for a scene to begin and cameras are being set up and or people are still getting their costumes on. And since we film a lot in the summer and it's like hot and bored waiting. And sometimes when people are memorizing their lines right before a scene at the last minute. All right, and I have another question. Um, is your director nice? Oh, and well, you know, can I answer this one in private? <laughs> she's delightful when she's in the right mood. Is your director nice? Um, I would say the director is, you know, the director is, no particular pronouns, is is okay to work with, you know, the catering needs a little bit of work, but I would say overall it's been fairly good to work with this particular director in comparison with the other directors I've dealt with in my career. Is your director nice? <laughs> oh, wow. That's, that was uh, uh, the nicest. <laughs> not the nicest one I've, okay, well, it's not, not the nicest. I feel like I've had nicer directors, but you're not terrible. Who's nicer? I mean, you're, I mean, I feel like uh, I'm going to plead the fifth here. <laughs> Is your director a good, nice director? Wow, okay. I think so. I mean, we all have our times when we lose our tempers, so that's not probably something specific to this director. But yeah, pretty good. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. It's very yeah. wonderful. So is there anything that you want to say to our viewers? You should probably like this. Please subscribe. Please comment. March into spring. Thank you for that. <laughs> oh, and one last thing I wanted to say to our viewers is about our next film is, um, sorry it's taking so long, but I didn't realize that it, the music is kind of dragged out and it's not really like the people who's doing the music, it's not their fault per se, it's just that um, in order to get it all finished, I sent our composer our film without the music so he could kind of make it match up. So he ended up not being able to do some of it till he had seen it. So it took us till we were finished with the film. And then we also have someone else who's running it through a program and he has other things to do besides this in his life. So it's just, the whole process is taking a little bit longer than I expected, but it should be coming out shortly. So stay tuned. I would say, thank you for watching. <laughs> Watch them all. <laughs> when we do our movies about saints, I just hope that you really learn some, that they really learn something about the saints and that maybe for some of them they'll become their favorite saints after watching our movies about them. Okay, you ready? <clears throat> okay, are you ready? Seriously? Yes. <laughs> you gotta stop giggling then. <laughs> the directee, directus. Direct, what? <laughs> no, let's start this again, let's start this again. Okay, we're starting. Right. How do I start? <laughs> <laughs> He's already all over, Hannah. Ah! Do it, okay. I don't know what to do, a baby pack baby. I'll have to interview you next, Hannah. I need to hear your answer to these things. I don't know, I wasn't gonna interview myself. What? I wasn't gonna be in the interview. No, well, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm the interviewer. No, You're I don't the care. I wanna hear the interviewer's answers.
is. I'm gonna make you do okay. it. Okay, all right. We look forward to seeing you in our next film. I know, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have a blessed Lent, everyone. <laughs> Bye.